Here's a tutorial for the game 5D Chess with Multiverse Time Travel. In regular chess, there are two dimensions. There's side to side, or the X dimension, and there's up and down, or the Y dimension. Technically, there's also a third dimension of height, but it is not used in chess. 5D Chess adds two new dimensions, the turn dimension and the timeline dimension. The turn dimension advances after both white and black plays. This means that two boards is actually only one turn. A new timeline is added when a chess piece moves into either the past or the present. A new timeline is not added when a piece moves into the future. These arrows show that when this knight moved onto this board, it created a new timeline down here. Now, let's look at all four dimensions that you can move along together. There's a Y dimension on every board, White moves forwards in the Y dimension by moving towards Black's starting row. Black moves forwards in the Y direction by moving towards White's starting row. There's also an X dimension on every board. There's no forward movement in the X dimension, it's just side to side movement. 5D Chess introduces the turn and timeline dimensions. The turn dimension moves forwards to the right. Remember that two boards is equal to one turn. So from here to here, is one unit. Similar to the Y dimension, the timeline dimension is reversed depending on what color you are. For white, moving forward in the timeline dimension is moving towards the outermost black pieces, and for black, moving forwards in the timeline dimension is moving towards the outermost white pieces. Remember that in chess, only the knight can jump over other pieces. The rook has the simplest form of movement, it moves any distance in one single dimension. The bishop moves any distance in two dimensions, but it has to be the same distance in both dimensions. In 2D chess, you might think of this as diagonal movement, but really what it's doing is moving a certain distance in one dimension and the same distance in another. A knight moves two units in one dimension and one unit in another dimension. A king moves one unit in any number of dimensions. Here we see a king moving in one dimension and here we see it moving in two dimensions. In 5D chess, the king can move one, two, three, or four dimensions. The queen is just like the king, but it can move any distance. Remember that it must move the same distance in all dimensions that it's moving along. So here we have it moving one dimension, here we have it moving two dimensions, but remember, if it's using two units in this dimension, then it must move two units in this dimension as well. Again, it can also move in three or four dimensions. Finally, the pawn moves one forward in one dimension, but it can move two forward if it hasn't yet moved. Here we have the pawn moving one forward. Remember that the X dimension does not have a forwards, so you can only move forward in the Y, turn, or timeline dimensions. A pawn captures another piece by moving one forward in two dimensions. Here it is moving one forward in the Y dimension, and because the X dimension does not have a forwards, it can move either way. Now. In 5D chess, the pawn must move along these dimensional pairs, so if it moves forward in the Y dimension, then it must move side to side in the X dimension. Or, if it moves forward in the turn dimension, then it must move forward in the timeline dimension. You cannot mix and match the X and Y and the turn and timeline dimensions when capturing with a pawn. Now, let's hop into the game and see how this all works in action. This is the start of the game, and it just works like normal chess. So I can move a pawn forward, black can do the same, and we can just move pieces around as we'd like. If you select a piece, and it has this icon shown, that means that it can move between boards. If we scroll out, you can see what boards it can move on. We can see this knight can move onto this green space in this board. Remember that a knight moves one in one dimension, and two in another dimension. In this case, it's moving one in the turn dimension, and it's moving two in the Y dimension. So it's moving back one turn and two down. When we submit our move, it creates a new timeline. Now we can see that the present has moved back to this board. We must move on all boards that are in the present, and we have the option of moving on boards in the future. So we can see this thick white outline, and that means that white must move on this board. So white's gonna make a move over here, and then if we'd like, we can make a move on this board. But we don't have to, because right now, it's in the future. I am going to choose to move on this board, and I'm going to move a knight out. Now it's black's turn. Black has to move on this board that's in the present. If we scroll over pieces, 
we can see sometimes the other boards highlight, which means we can move on to that board. I'm going to move this queen onto this board in the future. We can do this because we're moving one timeline, one turn, one down, and one left. Because I moved the piece into the future, it did not create a new timeline. Now as white, I'm going to move my king back one turn and up one into the past, and then a new timeline gets created. Now let's solve the first few puzzles. So I'm going to click Puzzles, Rook Tactics 1. To get a checkmate in 5D chess, you only have to capture a single king. Because this board is the only board with a thick outline, it means it's the only board I can move on. Remember that a rook moves any amount in a single direction. Now notice that there's a king in the top right on this board in the past. If I move this rook up into the corner, then on my next turn, I can move back in time and capture the king. So I'm going to submit my move. This exclamation point means that it's a check, and when I click on it, you can see that all I would have to do on my next turn is to move over and capture this king. Black can't do anything about it because this king cannot capture my rook, and he cannot change what has already happened in the past. Now let's click finish and go to the next puzzle. Now in this puzzle, let's just try to checkmate the king like you would in a normal game of chess. We're going to move our rook all the way to the right, which means that no matter where this king moves, he's going to be blocked in by my rooks. Normally, this would be a checkmate. However, when I submit my move, the king is going to move back in time and create a new timeline. Now I have to move in the present, so I have to move this forward, and we can just do the same exact move and block both of the kings in. Remember that you can only move one piece per board, and you only need to capture one king to win. So no matter what black does, he can only move one of these kings out of here, which means I have the checkmate. Hopefully, now you understand the basics of 5D chess movement, and you can start to solve some of the puzzles on your own. Thank you for watching. If this helped you, please leave a like, and consider subscribing.